first of all, let me be the first one to tell each and every one of you that you have to know who you are in order to move forward correctly, my people. You got to know who you are so you will know who is around you and who they are. Now, with that being said, good morning, my royalty is for life. Kings and queens. Here is a message for all of you Israelites of the royalty Israelite Shem bloodline who are leading the royalty Israelite Shem bloodline astray. Yeah, that's some of y'all out there who are leading our people astray. And the reason you're doing that is because you rats and tats, all right? Because y'all are sleeping with those Japhet rats and ham slash hamanite rats. And at the same time, y'all are spreading slash causing confusion over who is slash are of the holy sacred bloodline of Shem. Now there is a way to know who everybody on this earth is, people. All right, all right. There is nothing hidden that has not been uncovered. So you are without excuse for not knowing who everybody is. All right? There should be no confusion. And you shouldn't be going asking nobody. Because you're supposed to be doing your due diligence of studying and showing yourself approved for our new kingdom. You don't really think you can enter this kingdom and you don't know who you are. Or who those rats out there in the street is. All right then. So let us clarify some things here, people. I'm so sick of... <laughs> but I don't say that. There are some of our children out there that don't know because they refuse to study and show they due diligence. All right then. So there's a lot of y'all out there causing confusion. Over who is slash are of the holy sacred bloodline of Shem. There is only three bloodlines in this world, people. So you got to come from one of these lines, all right? You are either from Shem's sacred bloodline or you are from Ham slash Ham. Hamanites bloodline or you are from the Japhet rat face bloodline. So you have the Shem bloodline, Ham, Hamanite bloodline, and Japhet bloodline. Is that clear with you? I want to make it clear to you because I'm tired of y'all sending me stuff saying so-and-so says, the hell what so-and-so is saying? You are supposed to be doing your due diligence studying for yourself. You don't need nobody to spoon feed you, all right? And that's why most of y'all are being food fed, <laughs> food fed, excuse me, food fed lie. And they got a reason to tell you those lies. Because they hooked up with those damn Jaffet rats and those ham rats. And they trying to bring them in the fold like they one of us. They could never be one of us. All right? And those fuckers out there that's doing that. The father's finna take them up out of here. All right? He's finna teach y'all ass the ultimate lesson. Now, you want to say those rats you laying up with, you better tell those rats the truth and tell those rats what it is they need to be doing. All right, then. And the lie 
Buzz ends here. All right. All right. So let me keep it moving. All right, then. These three different bloodlines have not ever changed. And the reason they have never changed is because our royalty Israelite father, Endless, said that he changed not. So if he changed not, he ain't changed these bloodlines. All right? All right. So let's go to Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. In the King James Virgin of the Bible, Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 says, For I am the Lord, your royalty is for like father endless. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Now, as you see, he's only speaking to the 12 royalty Israelite tribes. And at this point, y'all should know who is who. All right, then. And come out of this world and stop sleeping with those rats and hanging on and having those rat-faced bastard kids. I don't care about you getting mad. Truth will set your raggedy ass free. <laughs> Once again, Malachi. Chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord. I change not. You understand? I change not, people. Because he no retrospector of nobody. All right, all right then. Let's go to the book of James, chapter 1, verse 17. He is the father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow. Psalms chapter 119 verse 89. Your word, Lord, is eternal. It stands firm in the heavens. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8. The grass widow, the grass winter, and the flowers fall. But the word of our God, our royalty Israelite, Messiah, Messiah's father, which is our royalty Israelite, father endless, all right? He's our father as well, all right? But the word of our God, Endures forever. Matthew chapter 24 verse 35. Heaven and earth will pass away. But my words will never pass away. You understand? And the reason he said heaven and earth will pass away. Because it is for the new world to come people. All right, The new heavens and the new earth. Soon to be here if you get yourself together. All right, then. Matthews. I don't know why Matthews keep popping up. <laughs> For some reason, it just keep popping up inside of my head. All right. So there's something in Matthews for your ass. All right, then. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 says, I am the Lord. I change not. Hebrew chapter 13 verse 8 says, Our royalty Israelite Messiah, our Isa, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. When everything else shifts and changes, you and I are still standing on a solid, unchanging foundation. All right, then. Hebrew chapter 7, verse 24 says, But he, our royalty Israelite Messiah, Isa, 
because he continues, he continues forever, has an unchangeable priesthood. You understand? Our Lord the Israelite, Messiah, our Easter, my people, he is the foundation that we are standing on. All right. Matt, once again, Matacue, Matacue. <laughs> All these demons are too much. It's too early for that. Your word, Lord, is eternal. It stands firm in the heavens. Psalms chapter 119, verse 89. The grass wither and the flowers fall. But the word of our God, I wrote the Israelite father, endless, mm -hmm, endures forever. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8. I, the Lord, do not change. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. You understand? Matthew chapter 24, verse 35. Do you understand, my people? Because there's so many lies out here got you thinking that mixing other race make you become another race. Oh, hell no. That ain't the way it works, people. All right, then. It's mixing and matching shit don't even make sense to begin with. Ye shall not act until the word of God which I command you. Neither shall ye diminish order from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 2. Do you understand, people? Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you. Neither shall ye diminish order or from it. So don't don't take nothing of don't add shit to it and don't take nothing from it. All right. That ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God. I wrote the Israelite Father endless, which I command you. Deuteronomy chapter four, verse two. All right then. And moving right along, my people, to Deuteronomy 32. Everything that I command you, you shall be careful to do. You shall not add to it or take from it. So be careful to obey all the commands I give you. You may not add anything to them or subtract anything from them. Do you get it, people? All right, then. If, script, if scripture is the word of God, and it is, all right, trying to modify those words mean overriding the Lord, our Lord, the Israelite Father, endless own message. It is wrong to add human speculation to what God has said. No one can improve on God's word. It does not need to be amended. It should be believed it and obeyed. You understand? It should be believed in and obeyed, people. Ye shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. And ye shall serve him and cleave unto him. You understand? Cleave unto the Father, not man. All right? 
All right, then.